tell the story. Uh, this is from a couple years ago with Chris Potter. We were in um, this beautiful island called Reunion Island, which is right off the coast um, of Madagascar. It's like one of the most beautiful places you will ever visit. And uh, we were there for maybe four days, and you know it was great. The gig was great. You know the crowd was great. And we were staying on the beach. It was incredible. And the flights. So it takes like about basically 24 hours to get there because you have to fly from New York to Paris and Paris to uh, Reunion Island. So it's basically like 24 hours of traveling. And um, yeah, the gig was great. And we drove up to a volcano on our last day. So the last day of the flight was at nighttime. So it was like, yeah, you know, we'll go to the beach, we'll drive to the volcano early in the morning, then we'll go snorkeling. And the day before we had went snorkeling and it was great, you know, tide was perfect, water was super clear, you can see fish and everything swimming by you, it was beautiful. So uh, the last day we decided to go snorkeling and we went during the middle of the day where um, the tide was a little bit rough. And keep in mind, we have to take catch a flight like right after we go snorkeling. So I get in, I'm swimming, Chris is snorkeling, doing his thing, and all of a sudden like I step on something and it feels like a, it's like a sea cucumber. And uh, it feels like, um, like something that's alive, but it's just very harmless. So. The current sweeps me and knocks me over in this water. I fall and I scrape my toe on this coral, like just slice it down the middle. And um, the locals that have um, been telling us, yeah, you know, there's been um, shark attacks that have been happening. So uh, my foot's bleeding and it's like the middle of the day, you, you know, the tide is rougher than usual. So I look down in the water, I look at my toe and it's just like sliced all the way down to like, it looks like the bone, but it could have been the bone. So I get out of the water, I'm like stumbling, I'm like, oh my gosh, I just kind of messed up my toe. And like, blood's gushing from my toe. And keep in mind, I have to catch a flight in like three hours from then. So I go to the lifeguard, um, and he's like, yeah, you know, it's fine, you know, pour something on it, it's like, whatever. So I take this flight back, and um, I'm like all disoriented, I'm like, man, I don't know what's going on. And I have to walk through Charles de Gaulle Airport with a, like a toe that's just like, I don't know what's going on. So I go to the emergency room, and you keep in mind it takes like 24 hours to get back because you have to go to Paris, then Paris, New York, and I have all this shit going on with my toe. And um, I guess the ER, they're like, yeah, um, you need stitches and you need a tetanus shot because you scraped your toe on, in another part of the world where you could easily have got an infection. So they gave me a tetanus shot, and like this, this whole thing, I'm in the ER like 4 a.m., 5 a.m. the next morning. And um, they're like, yeah, you need stitches, but since you've been flying, like, you, there's like a window for stitches to where you have to um, get stitches within 24 hours for some reason. And they're like, yeah, it's been over 24 hours since you uh, left whatever place you're at, so you can't give me stitches, but here's these antibiotics and you gotta get you a tetanus shot. And that was all from snorkeling, but it was a good game.